Christianity became a religion focused upon doctrine and right belief. And a Christian was supposed to believe a certain body of unchangeable certainties, so that um, all uh, floods and droughts and disasters of a natural kind were seen as having been brought by God for a purpose. So that presumably then, if you had that view, you don't see, you have no responsibility to the natural Oh, no responsibility whatsoever. And it is that element in the Christian West that has led us into the problems we have today where we have uh, not, uh, not only exploited the earth for our own interests, but we have been destroying the earth without understanding fully these consequences of our actions. More sensitive Christian thinkers are greatly aware of this and are trying to say with some justification that by being given dominion over the earth was really intended to mean we were, we were we were set as stewards of the earth and uh, we have not understood the concept of stewardship well enough. Now that's a good way of dealing with it except for the problem that nowhere in the Bible does it refer to us as stewards. <laughs> well we're in an entirely different situation today compared with what our forebears were in. Um, we have knowledge of the natural world which they didn't have and, and, and we, have, we have an understanding of, of the universe that they didn't have. And, and we see ourselves as having evolved out of the primitive forms of life that emerged on this planet. And so we, we are part of the natural world. In the past, um, our forebears tended to see themselves as unique creatures over against the natural world and, and at the mercy of the gods who control the natural world. We, are, we now see ourselves as part of the natural world, but to our surprise and sometimes horror, we have gained such technological power that we are able to destroy the very earth which has brought us forth and on which we depend for life. We, f we are facing in the 21st century probably the greatest challenges that the human race has ever faced before. In a global world, all the great cultures have a contribution to make. And, um, and there will be a, a mingling of, of cultures and, and in the end, uh, in, in this sort of maelstrom, as it were, um, our hope is, but there's no guarantee, that the best of the virtues and values come to the top. That is where hope and faith and and so on, play a very important role in the human heart, in, in the sort of global human heart. Uh, and uh, I think the 21st century, which of course I won't live to see the end of, I'm only at the beginning, <laughs> uh, is, is going to be a testing time. But my children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren hopefully will see the end. Well, well, the great-grandchildren anyway. Yeah. And so that is why, as we said before, we cannot help but feel I can, that we have a responsibility to hand on to them the best that we can. I've seen some very important changes take place in that we have become much more concerned with people's rights. And, and uh, we are becoming uh, much more uh, able to accept that people differ and and cultures differ and and that um, we don't have any uh, right to think of ourselves as in any way superior to those who think different from us all this has has really grown a good deal in the 20th century and i th i th 
I, I think therefore I re rejoice in all those. Uh, certainly we've got a long way to go, but I think we're moving in the right direction and that is all to the good.